All right. It's time for my Monday book talk. Um, this week I finished two books. One was Calamity by Brandon Sanderson. It is book three in the Reckoners trilogy. The first book is Steelheart. We're currently having to replace that because it has disappeared. Um, somebody checked it out and didn't bring it back. Um, so if you're interested in this series, you'll have to let me know and I can put you on a hold list. And then when the book comes in, I will notify your teachers and one of them will tell you that's here to come check it out. Book one is called Steelheart. Book two is called Firefight. And this one, Calamity, wraps up the trilogy nicely. Um, I'll just go ahead and tell you a little bit about the trilogy itself. Uh, in Steelheart, we're introduced to a character whose father was murdered by an epic. Epics are people who have developed superpowers since um, an event in which this giant light appeared in the sky and people across the United States started to develop powers. Like, for example, Steelheart can turn an entire city to steel. Um, he is also impervious, which means he cannot be hurt by normal means. Um, and, but you would expect, like, like David's father expected for heroes to emerge, to fight these supervillains, but part of the problem with the powers is that it seems to cause people to become evil. So, um, there's a group called the Reckoners who are humans who are trying to band together to stop, ep to kill epics and stop them from hurting people. But there's a lot of action, there's a lot of witty dialogue. Um, the main character, one of the things he does is make really bad metaphors. Um, so if you appreciate that sort of humor and you like explosions and, and interesting fights with the superpowers, then you'll probably like this book. We've had several people read um, the entire series, so let me know if you want me to put you on the list for Steelheart, and I'll let you know when it comes in. Um, the second book that I read, I will preface by saying that I don't expect a whole lot of people to be really interested in reading this book. Um, A.S. King is really for people that have particular taste. Um, this book is, is weird, I will just say that. It is a satire. It has also been called surrealistic fiction. Um, it's just basically a giant extended metaphor. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. Um, it moved very quickly. It is split between several different main characters. The first character that you see is called Stanzi, but that is not her name. Um, throughout the book, where her actual name should appear, there's a blank line. Um, but she likes to wear a lab coat all the time, and she believes that when she was conceived, she was actually two people, and that her cells have fused together, and she is, so basically she is one person, but she is internally divided. And she's got some other stuff going on as well, I'm not going to tell you everything about her. There's also a character named Gustav, who is building a helicopter, but it is invisible to most people. Um, Stanzi is in love with Gustav, but she can only see the helicopter on Tuesdays, and she feels bad about it. But anyway, they're building this helicopter, and they're going to go to this place to escape um, all the stuff that's going on in their real lives. Um, there's another character named China who s says she has swallowed herself. So sometimes she refers to herself as a giant tongue, or a giant pair of lips, or a giant digestive system, or whatever. She's just a digestive system on legs, walking around. And the reason this has happened is because of something catastrophic that has happened to her in the past. Um, and then there's another character named Lansdale Cruz, who is a compulsive liar. She knows she's a compulsive liar. She will tell you things about herself that sound terrible and then follow them up with, none of that actually happened. Um, and one of the interesting things about her is whenever she tells lies, her hair grows, kind of like Pinocchio, but with hair. Um, so her, she's cutting off like a foot of her hair every day because she lies so much and it grows every time that she lies. Um, but all these characters come together and if you, if you make it through the entire book, like I said, it's weird and it's strange and it's different, but it does make sense if you make it through the whole thing, in my opinion. It's commentary on um, how, how, it's commentary on standardized testing, on some of the things that we do in the school system to promote student safety and security, um, conformity, it's about people coming to terms with 
um, horrible things that have happened to them. But, but like I said, if you're, if you're willing to put in the effort and make it through all the symbolism, then you may possibly enjoy it. So I crawl through it. Um, like I said, I love everything that A.S. King has done. I haven't read a book that she wrote that I didn't enjoy. But they're not for everybody. But if you're willing to take a, take a shot at it, come and check it out. And I'll see you next week.